Saeed decided to keep everything for himself. This dog had brought him a decent income. But it was getting old. And he felt that every litter of puppies it produced was too weak. It was better to keep a young female dog. As for this dog. He looked at it, sighed. And felt that he should abandon it. Maybe you can keep Dakota and a young replacement. His wife urged him. But he strongly disagreed. Listen, wolves don't tolerate competitors, he argued. And she has wolf blood in her veins. She will defeat any competition. His wife's persuasions were in vain. He was confident in his decision and was hard to convince. Dakota often gave birth and was a valuable assistant in Saeed's hunting. But he had already decided to get rid of her completely. Not long ago, she had another litter of puppies, which were once very attractive. Their mother was a shepherd dog, and their father was a wolf. No one knew what had happened. But from that point on, the wolf genes always dominated in the offspring. The puppies became extremely popular. And people were willing to pay a high price for these mixed breed pups. Even waiting in line. This was a special breed. A mix of German shepherds and wolves. Possessing unique abilities, highly trainable. And indispensable for hunting as they could. Track and drive prey. Furthermore, they were incredibly loyal, never betraying their owners once they recognized them, and never letting people down. The next morning, the owner called the dog, and it happily wagged its tail, gazing loyally into the owner's eyes, sitting at his feet. Usually, at this time, they would go hunting. Dakota would track the prey. And the hunter would take an accurate shot to bring it down. But this time, for some reason, the gun was not at hand. Nevertheless, the dog had learned to trust its owner without hesitation and stayed by the man's side. She continuously nudged his leg, expressing her love and loyalty. But he didn't respond to her affection. Today, the owner was particularly stern and quiet. And she could sense it. So she tried to encourage him. Getting closer to his hand. However, the man became angry. Dakota didn't know how to help him as they continued. Their long walk in the forest. She was surprised that the owner hadn't given her the. Command to track any scent. After all. They had ventured deep into the woods, surrounded by the scent of wild animals, and she knew where they were hiding. With a single command, the prey would be at his feet, but he didn't give it. Instead, he called her and tied a rope to her collar, leaving Dakota feeling puzzled. The man looked at her and tied the rope to a tree. Sit, he commanded firmly sit. She obediently sat down, not understanding what this game was or what she should do. She was tied up. So how could she help him? She pondered. Her eyes fixed on her owner. Then, the owner left her. And she nervously pawed at the ground. Fearing that he might be in danger. And she wouldn't be able to reach him in time. Meanwhile, Saeed, her beloved owner, had disappeared deep into the dense forest. She didn't understand why he had left her here. Why he had to wait. These thoughts buzzed around her mind like stubborn flies. She couldn't fathom that the person she loved deeply would choose to part with her in such a brutal manner. Several hours passed. And the poor dog remained sitting under the tree. While waiting for her owner. Her muscles stiffened. So she would often jump up to move around. But as soon as she remembered her owner's command. She immediately returned to her sitting position. 
because she had been ordered to wait. And she had been waiting. Suddenly, the sky started drizzling, quickly turning into a downpour. The large, cold raindrops mixed with hail and pelted her. Soon, her thick fur was completely soaked. And winter had not yet departed, making warm moments rare. She sat there, ears drooping in despair, water dripping from them. She loyally waited for the one who had abandoned her. Feeling like an unwanted possession, a bright spring day had turned into a cold and gloomy night. Dakota suddenly understood. And she accepted it. Nobody needed her anymore. She let out a long, mournful cry, lifted her head. Tears welled up in her eyes. She didn't understand. She felt pain. Not from the cold hail that had fallen from above. But from being soaked and curled up. Trying to stay warm. In the morning. She felt a sharp pain in her stomach. She realized that she had been hungry for a day. Not having eaten or drunk anything. Her breasts ached from the pent-up milk. And she missed her little puppies. Though they were big enough to feed themselves. They weren't used to not having their mother's milk. She shook her head to dispel these thoughts and. Pushed her past life from her mind. Now. She had no owner, no home, nothing. She was alone. A new day dawned. And a new life began. She was ready to fight for it. Whatever happened, she was a wolf hybrid, and she easily bit through the rope. Starting to track her prey. She could have left this place a long time ago. But her loyalty to her owner did not allow her to leave. From a young age, her owner had taught her how to follow commands. And find the trail of prey. Now, she had to hunt on her own to avoid hunger. She immediately caught a field mouse and a small rabbit. Which somewhat eased her hunger. Now. She began to explore the new territory she was going to live in. Without returning home. Those who had betrayed her had lost her trust forever. Dakota leaped through the woods. Sniffing and searching for who the master of this. Place was and the boundaries of this territory to. Avoid inadvertently challenging the established order. She was new and shouldn't cause trouble. Her instincts, deeply buried, quickly awakened. Primitive feelings mingled with the intoxication of freedom. She felt danger lurking everywhere. And suddenly. Her keen sense of smell made her even more sensitive. Dakota caught a scent of tension and tensed up. She couldn't afford to make a mistake. There were wolves nearby. The fur on her back stood on end. And she prepared to face a formidable adversary. In the forest. She had encountered these grey predators several times before. One of them being her father. But the wolf pack did not acknowledge her blood ties. They growled threateningly. Implying that if she got too close. They would tear her to shreds. Dakota was ready to fight for her right to survive. She lowered her head and assessed her surroundings. Among the scents of forest creatures. There were also the smells of three newborn wolf cubs. Whimpering and helplessly trying to touch their. Mother's cold body with their blind mouths. Dakota immediately remembered her own puppies. Left with her owner and her heart was filled with longing and injustice. Without hesitation, she rushed to the newborn wolf cubs, sniffing and licking them. These wolf cubs were helpless and fragile. As soon as they found milk, they bit onto her and regarded her as their mother. Over time, Dakota found a new den for the cubs. The wolf cubs grew quickly and their caring mother taught them the skills of survival and hunting, working tirelessly to provide food for them, 
However, they needed more and more food. Occupying all her spare time, she began to think less and less about her past life, and displayed more of the wolf nature inherited from her father. Occasionally, in her dreams, she would see her owner again, forget her resentment, and run toward him. But upon waking up, she would see herself surrounded by the three, now fully grown wolf cubs. Today, Dakota had been roaming the forest for hours, searching for food. As the wolf cubs required more each day, she had to expand her hunting range. So Dakota crossed the invisible boundary and entered unfamiliar territory. She understood the risk but had no other choice. Either starve or fight for the right to hunt in this place. The owner of this territory sensed her presence and suddenly appeared. A massive gray wolf blocking her path. It displayed its teeth in a hostile manner, indicating that she should leave its territory. It didn't anticipate that the creature before it was no longer the half-dog, half-wolf she used to be, but a wild forest predator willing to fight anyone. For the sake of her children, the wolf's neck fur bristled, and Dakota's memories of countless battles flashed through her mind. Battles she had won. With these memories, she was filled with confidence in her abilities. They lunged at each other. But this time, the situation was different. Suddenly, two more wolves appeared by her opponent's side. Clearly the masters of the territory. They were uncompromising. And the wolf pack launched an attack on the lone dog. Posing a serious threat. She might be torn to pieces despite her fierce struggle. Dakota managed to seize the leader of the pack. Attempting to strangle it. But at the same time. Two merciless wolf fangs clamped onto her neck from above. Trying to tear her apart. Dakota felt her strength rapidly draining. Realizing her life was about to end. However. At that moment. Three older wolves charged out of the forest. Her foster children. Although they were still young. They had come of age. And they intervened to save her, their rescue was timely. And they drove off the threat. Dakota knew her life had been saved. But she felt her strength rapidly fading. In reality. The young wolves quickly grew into powerful predators. They swiftly drove off the enemies attacking their mother and continued to chase the leader, the leader managed to escape. Wounded. Leaving a trail of blood on the grass. Other members of the wolf pack followed suit. Abandoning the battlefield. The wolf cubs pursued relentlessly. Hoping to catch up with them to ensure they would never return to this place. The enemies were defeated. The mother was saved and now they were the masters of this territory. Dakota licked her wounds. Her body still trembling from the intense battle. She was injured. But her heart was filled with gratitude. Dakota was filled with joy and gratefully licked. The faces of her matured wolf cubs. She was pleased that the wolf cubs. Who had poured so much love and care. Into protecting her could understand the loyalty and love of a dog and repay her with gratitude. Unfortunately, humans often couldn't grasp this. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, in daily life, it is the most normal thing to be noisy. But sometimes parents' quarrels will hurt their children. If it is only a spiritual injury, it can be repaired slowly in the later stage. But if a physical accident occurs, may make people feel particularly regretful. Such a thing happened abroad, in a harmonious family. 
the husband and wife have a healthy little girl. From the time the daughter was born, the parents have given her meticulous care, taught her to speak, taught her to walk, and watched this daughter slowly grow up like this. A daughter is the crystallization of parents, which is a symbol of their love. Both parents put all their love on their daughter, and they gave her the best things in the world. As long as the daughter wants a small gift, the parents will do their best to give her, even if they travel all over the city. They will buy it for the daughter. The daughter who was pampered and spoiled. Since she was a child is not so ungrateful. On the contrary. She is very well behaved and sensible. People around her think her daughter is a gentle. An elegant little princess. Her appearance is very cute. Her white and flawless skin looks like white snow. And at the same time. She also has a pair of big watery eyes that seem to be able to talk. Their daughter is very sensible. Although she is young. She has never cried or made noise since she was a child. Unlike ordinary children. Once her parents leave. She will cry loudly. Making parents unable to do anything. The daughter is relatively introverted and doesn't like to express. But her parents can vaguely feel the love for her. The daughter will not rely on her parents' love for her so deeply. So she is unreasonable. Among her peers. The girl's performance is quite good. Life is always realistic. And it takes a lot of energy, time. And money to be with daughter all the time. Without money. Life cannot move forward. So both parents will work hard. But the daughter is alone at home and the parents are very worried. It would be bad if some kind of accident happens. So the couple decided to hire a nanny for the family. Daughters can also grow up healthily under the care of nanny. Just do it. The parents found a very kind aunt. As the daughter's housekeeper. This nanny has very rich experience in raising children. Coming to this home has indeed made a great contribution to my daughter's diet and daily life. But my daughter cannot communicate with her aunt more. Because the two are not of the same age after all. And there are many languages that cannot be spoken. The daughter also likes to play. Likes toys, and likes pets. So after careful consideration of the couple. They decided to give their daughter a cute puppy as a pet. On this day. The parents were wandering in the pet market. And saw a white pet dog. Because the daughter said that her favorite color is white. This dog daughter will definitely like it very much. Two people touched the dog's cage with their hands. And the dog was also very aura. When the parent's hands first touched the cage. The dog raised its head and looked at the two people. In front of it with watery eyes. As if saying. Please take me in. I will definitely bring you happiness. The two parents saw the white and flawless dog in. Front of them and liked it very much. So they took it home. After returning home. My daughter was very happy when she saw. This strange animal. At this time, the dog was still very small in size and looked very cute. In addition, the daughter likes white very much. Seeing that this little guy is white, her whole heart is warmed. It seems that parents really know their daughter very well and know what kind of things. Daughters are the favorite, the daughter has no resistance to this kind of fluffy stuff. So she hugged the dog as soon as she stepped forward. To her surprise. The dog didn't break free in her arms. But stayed motionless and obediently as if enjoying the warm embrace of your daughter. The days have returned to the way they were before. The parents commute to and from get off work. On time and on time. 
The daughter and the nanny live and entertain normally at home. As if enjoying the warm embrace of your daughter. The days have returned to the way they were before. The parents commute to and from get off work. On time and on time. The daughter and the nanny live and entertain normally at home. At the same time. There is a cute puppy playing with the daughter. There is a swimming pool and grass in the backyard. The whole design is very artistic. And the green grass is very comfortable to sit on. Playing with the dog here is the happiest thing for my daughter. They often play hide and seek here. No matter where my daughter goes. The dog will follow her scent through his sensitive. Nose until he finds her. The backyard holds a lot of joy for the daughter and the dog. Parents often see this scene. The daughter and the dog are running on the grass one after the other. Seeing the joyful smiles on the faces of the dog and the daughter. They feel that everything is worth it. This is the best thing parents can do for their daughter. As long as the daughter is happy. Everything they do is worth it. But life can't be all about happiness. Sometimes the husband and wife will quarrel. And occasionally the husband and wife will quarrel. Over trivial matters in daily life. During the quarrel. His daughter was playing in the backyard by herself. And the two quarreling did not have much energy. To take into account the specific situation of the daughter. So where does the daughter play alone? At this time, the daughter heard the sound of her parents arguing and was very annoyed. So she was about to go to the backyard to play with her pet dog. Just when he entered the backyard and passed the swimming pool, a tragedy happened. Seeing her daughter accidentally fell into the swimming pool and hearing the sound of her crying, the husband and wife stopped arguing and ran to the swimming pool immediately. But the sight in front of them shocked them. The pet dog at home actually rescued the little girl. When the daughter fell into the water, the dog discovered it in time. It jumped into the swimming pool in a hurry and dragged her daughter on itself. Due to the limited strength of my body, it is actually a very laborious thing to put my body under my daughter. The dog tried several positions, but couldn't put the daughter directly on his body. So when he couldn't drag it, the dog used his mouth to grab the daughter's clothes and pulled them to the shore. In this way, the daughter was rescued and came up. Seeing the dog is so sensible, the husband and wife felt that their decision was right at that time. Choosing this dog was the greatest luck in their life. If it wasn't for the dog's timely rescue. It is estimated that her daughter's safety is likely to be threatened. This pet dog was originally raised to accompany her daughter. But she didn't expect to save her life at a critical time. Since that incident. The parents have paid more attention to the dog. They regard the dog as an important family member of their own under the patient care of the family the dog is growing up vigorously it is as healthy happy and carefree as the daughter until now when the daughter returns home from school she still plays with the dog intimately their happiness has remained the same as before and has never changed the relationship between people and dogs is sometimes deeper than that between people. They have no conflict of interest. The neighbors who know this family are very envious of the relationship between them. Learn from the scriptures. What kind of magic power makes their family so happy? But feelings still need to be cultivated by yourself. Animals are very spiritual. As long as you treat them well, they will repay you ten times and a hundred times. If you have a cute little guy by your side, you must treat it with heart. Alright. 
That's all for this video. If you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Like and comment. We will continue to bring you more touching. Stories about animals. See you next time.